Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in again today. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'd appreciate that very much as well. Uh, today we have one here from Insider. A woman who got wasted at a Marilyn Manson concert blew up $15 million worth of property. She's suing the company that served her. So just for references sake here, I'm not really a big fan of Marilyn Manson. The, his music is fine, I suppose, but I'm not a big fan. But uh, a 26-year-old got into an explosive accident when leaving a 2019 Marilyn Manson concert in Canada. She was sentenced to three years in prison and is suing a drink company for its part in her behavior. The documents allege that the company should share liability in a civil lawsuit against her. A 26-year-old woman left a Marilyn Manson concert wasted and devastated the residents of a Canadian street after an explosive car crash. Daniela Lees, uh, who pleaded guilty to four counts of impaired driving causing bodily harm in October 2020, caused an estimated 10 to $15 million in damages. She was sentenced to three years in prison in February 2021 and is now suing the venue for kicking her out of the venue despite her level of intoxication, according to the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. Referred to as the car bomb fiasco by the CBC, the incident occurred on August 14, 2019 at 450 Woodman Avenue in London, Ontario, Canada. A seven-minute drive from the show at the Budweiser Garden Arena, Lease or Lice crashed her Ford Fusion, which had been registered under her father's name, into a single home. But moments later, a broken gas line caused by the crash set off an explosion that ripped apart four homes and injured seven people nearby per the CBC. She's also faced legal backlash in at least six civil lawsuits with victims urging her to pay for the damages, according to The Independent. This has prompted Lice and her, or Lise, and her father, Sean, to file a lawsuit against Ovation's Ontario Food Services, who they believe should also share some of the liability. According to the CBC, Lice, or Lise, and her father are accusing uh, Ovation's Ontario Food Services of having no regard for her intended mode of transport, transportation as she exited the Budweiser Gardens when they knew uh, or ought to have known that she was uh, impaired, I'm assuming that, uh, uh, or uh, she appeared, I'm assuming that's what that is, appeared to be intoxicated or impaired. The pair also accused the company and of, uh, and or the servers of serving lease uh, when they knew or ought to have known she was intoxicated or would have become intoxicated, the CBC reported. The lawsuit uh, added that workers had ejected Lease from the venue while failing to take steps to ensure she would not drive home, according to the New York Post. Insider was un unable to obtain a copy of legal documents the Ontario Superior Court of Justice and Oak View Group, which owns Ovations Ontario Foods, did not immediately respond to Insider's request for comment. Lease was not immediately reachable for comment. Okay. Now, when it comes to something like this, in my opinion... If you're going to go to a concert and you know you're going to drink or you assume that you're going to drink, the responsible thing to do would be to take somebody with you who will be the designated driver, not to go by yourself and get drunk. That would be the smart thing to do. However, apparently this woman was not very smart, went by herself, got drunk, and drove. So, in my opinion, if you're going to drive and get drunk, or get drunk and then drive, it should be your complete responsibility. It's not the fault of the venue or the servers that served you that you got drunk and crashed your car. 
you know, I know in some in some places the the you know the bartender is supposed to um, stop you from driving or whatever, but it should not be a, a bartender's responsibility. It should not be your server's responsibility to gauge your level of drunkenness or your stupidity level if you're going to drink and drive. The, this person should not have gotten behind the wheel after drinking at a concert. So it should, in my opinion, it should not be the people that gave her the alcohol's responsibility at all to pay for anything. It should be her responsibility solely and alone. In my opinion, this is just another, another one of those frivolous lawsuits um, stupid people try to get away with. A person who got drunk and drove from a concert should not be able to blame the concert. Just the same as somebody who, um, let's say they get on stage and they stage dive and they miss the crowd of people and they hit the floor and crack their, you know, break a bone or something. It should not be the uh, venue's fault that they did that. It should not be the person who was giving the concert's fault that did that. It sh it's the person who did it. It's their responsibility. If you're going to get in the pit, if you're going to crowd surf and you get dropped and things get broken, it's your fault. Same as if you drink and drive. It's your fault. But tell me what you think. Down in the comments down below, I would appreciate it very much. I appreciate anybody who likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Uh, tell me what you think. Do you think this person should have sole responsibility for their own actions, getting drunk and driving? Do you think the people that served her should ha hold some responsibility for what happened? What do you think? Tell me in the comments, please. And uh, I appreciate it again, anybody who takes the time to watch the videos. And have a great day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.